Today's episode is on truth. Some of us say that we embrace truth. We take it wholeheartedly. However, that is not true. We sometimes tend to pick and choose which truth we listen to. Imagine if we handle truth the same way in which we handle our doctor's report. We would see no improvements in our health. Same goes for other individuals who care for our well-being, such as family members, friends, mentors, pastors, etc. They are not there to lead us on the wrong path. In fact, if they truly care, they will be truthful and is on a productive journey with the guidance of God. The Bible states in Proverbs 27, 6, Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies kisses. This means to me that truth may hurt. However, because it comes from someone that you trust, you will embrace it wholeheartedly. Also, the opposite to that is that your enemies will not tell you the truth. If somebody really loves you, they will tell you the truth. Your enemies will kiss your face and say, oh, it's good because they want you to fail. But those who really care will tell you what's really going on. Jesus is also truth. In the Bible, it states in John 8, 32, and you will know the truth and the truth shall set you free. To me, that means that you know God for yourself by reading the Bible, praying, meditating, whatever it may be. You may say, how, why, and how should I trust God? The Bible also says that God is not a man that he should lie in Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man or human that he should lie, not a human being that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? In that regards, no, he keeps his words. We do not know everything. We may fall or falter. But the truth is that if you ask God to direct your path, he will order your steps. Proverbs 3, 6 says, Seek His will in all you do, and He will show you which path to take. So trusting in God's guidance and embracing those who sent you along the way will actually help you live a productive life. So embrace the truth that is given to you. Listen to the words of advice. Take it in. I know it might be hard, but take it in. It's for your well-being. Thank you all for listening. God bless.